committed our own laser beams to the moon and back? If we can do it, Wertheimer believes that ET can do it even better. Here at the Leuschner Observatory in California, his telescope is linked to a high-speed computer that's searching for a spike of a pure color of light, the telltale signature of a laser. Over the next few years, this telescope will scan 2,500 stars. We're looking for a very bright pulse. It would only be on for perhaps a billionth of a second. It's like looking for the kind of flash that you'd see from a lighthouse. As the beam comes around, you'd see a sharp pulse, very bright, and then it would go off for a while, but then you might see it again. Hidden in these short pulses could be a whole encyclopedia of information, coded like our own computers. If they send us a signal intentionally, it's likely that they will make it easy for us to understand that message. It will have language lessons, lots of pictures, vocabulary lessons, and then they would send us a huge amount of information, all their music, their poetry, their literature, their science, their medicine. That would be an amazing feat. It's an opinion that may be naive. Aliens could turn out to be worse than any science fiction nightmare. I think it would be a disaster. The extraterrestrials would probably be far in advance of us. Astrophysicist Stephen Hawking believes that not all aliens will be friendly. We should take heed of past experiences on Earth. The history of advanced race is meeting more primitive people on this planet is not very happy, and they were the same species. I think we should keep our heads low. I don't think that other civilizations are going to come and eat us. There are not that many raw materials on Earth. There are much bigger planets, and also I suspect that advanced civilizations are not killing each other the way we are. But even if they are aggressive, the sheer size of the universe makes it unlikely that we will meet an extraterrestrial in person. Imagine yourself as one of the crew of this faster-than-light spaceship of the future. Hollywood and science fiction try to convince us that it's easy to travel to the stars faster than the speed of light. So far, the fastest we can manage in our current spacecraft is 40,000 miles per hour. At this rate, it would take 70,000 years to reach even the nearest stars. The only realistic way to make contact is to eavesdrop on alien signals. And we may be communicating with aliens sooner than we think. I'm optimistic in the long run. Probably in our lifetimes, maybe 50 or 100 years, we will be in contact with other civilizations. If we did find a signal, it's bound to have a fantastic effect on our human civilization. I don't think there'd be any worry or any panic, but we would know for the first time that other life exists. We may find out that we are just one of many civilizations in the universe. Or we may find out, in the end, that we are extremely unique. So maybe we're alone, maybe we're not. Either way, the answer is really significant.